Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to compare fields and forces. So let's get started. Now, this will act as a bit of a summary of some of the things we've done so far, like electric fields and magnetic fields, but it's also a bit of recap from higher. So it says here that you saw at higher level that there are four fundamental forces. Here's a reminder of their characteristics. So we've got this table with fundamental force, mediating particle, also known as a force carrier, range in meters, relative strength and responsible for. So the strong nuclear force, first of all, remember it's force carrier or mediating particle is the gluon. It's got a range of about 10 to the minus 15 meters and its relative strength compared to itself, i.e. compared to the strong nuclear force, is 1. So we're going to compare the strength of the others to that strong nuclear force. And remember the strong nuclear force is responsible for holding protons and neutrons together in the nucleus. Next we have the weak nuclear force and this has mediating particles of the W plus and minus and Z bosons. And it's got a range of about 10 to the minus 18 meters and a relative strength compared to the strong force of about 10 to the minus 6 meters. And lastly it's responsible for beta decay. We then have the electromagnetic force whose mediating particle is the photon. It's got an infinite range and a relative strength compared to the strong nuclear force of about 10 to the minus 2 and it's responsible for holding electrons in atoms. Lastly, we have the gravitational force whose mediating particle is the graviton which is a hypothetical particle as it's not yet been detected. Its range is infinite and its relative strength compared to the strong nuclear force is 10 to the minus 39. So it's very small compared to the strong force and it's also responsible for holding matter together in planets, stars and galaxies. Next we've got a table allowing us to compare the gravitational, electrostatic and magnetic fields. So gravitational fields exist between point masses, electrostatic fields exist between point charges and magnetic fields do not have a point source, they exist as magnetic poles. Gravitational fields obey the inverse square law which is Newton's law of universal gravitation F equals gmm over r squared. Electrostatic fields or electric fields obey the inverse square law of Coulomb's inverse square law which is F equals q1 q2 over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. And lastly magnetic fields do not obey the inverse square law as they do not have a point source. However we can calculate the force exerted on a current carrying wire in a magnetic field using F equals ILB sine theta. Next it says that for a gravitational field, the gravitational potential at distance from a point mass of m is given by the formula V equals minus gm over r. So we've got gravitational potential. And for electrostatic or electric fields, it says that for a radial field, the electrostatic potential or electrical potential at a distance from a point charge of plus q is given by the formula V equals q over 4 pi epsilon naught r. And lastly, for magnetic fields, it says that vector and scalar magnetic potentials can be used to define the strength of a magnetic field, but they are not covered in this course. Next we have definitions, so gravitational field strength G is the force per unit mass or the weight per unit mass. Electric field strength E is the force per unit positive charge and the strength of a magnetic field is called the magnetic induction. It is one tesla when a wire carrying a current of one amp placed at right angles to the magnetic field experiences a force of one newton per meter of its length. And lastly, objects cannot be shielded from a gravitational field, it permeates all space. Objects can be shielded from an electrostatic field such as an electrostatic shielding of wires and objects cannot be shielded from a magnetic field but the field lines can be redirected. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.